Hey guys, Igor here doing one more episode review. Today reviewing Sales Rock, a new deal with pretty outstanding and mixing features that could replace a lot of tools you are using right now in only one dashboard. So as Epsom says, it's, it's cool of rock. Automate prospect search and outreach by utilizing uh, global data. And so the idea here is that you are going to use their data to find um, companies and contacts for your outreach. And you are going to also, you have the possibility to check uh, if the contacts are valid, the phone number and the email, and also creating the email, the email sequence inside Sales Rock. And it means that Sales Rocks can replace tools like Snowview, Lemlist, Mailshake, Reply. So, um, as you can see here, the deal is pretty easy to understand. They just changed the limit and now they're giving us 500 contact search per month. So all those credits, they um, are monthly credits. So um, Sales Rock is a lifetime deal and you are going to get 2,000 company search credits per month, 2,000 and a half toolkits credits per month and 500 contact search per month and the number of users it will uh, they will change according to, accordingly to the number of codes you buy so if you buy more codes up to 10 codes you can get more search per month but if you are a solo entrepreneur or if you are doing any kind of business by yours yourself you can just buy one code and you have a lot uh, of good limits per month. But if you think that your outreach is going to be like huge, massive, you can buy more codes uh, and then the deal is pretty good. The first thing that called me uh, attention is that the team is from Netherlands, which is uh, a country uh, that uh, create interesting things related to innovation in the world. And also they have our ad price and uh, good reviews around the internet. So they are GDPR compliance. They receive uh, their ISOs. So it's a pretty serious company that you can use for your daily outreach. So let's see how the deal works. I bought one code on AppSumo and right now I'm gonna log in. So I'm logging in right now. And here is the dashboard. It can be a little bit like intimidating, but it's easy to understand just uh, let's go. As you can see here on my up right, you have the number of credits. The first one um, where it's written 2014. There are the company search credits, then 500 of contact search credits and the sales toolkits credits to um, 2,500 of credit. And here on my left, you can see the tabs and the tabs will show you the different kind of features. And the first one uh, that I'm going to show you is the company search. So here you are searching for companies. So you can add any of those features that you want. If you want to search by industry, location, size, status, contact options, web, tech, use it, and by the name of the company, of course. So let's see, let's say that I want, and as you can see here, 
you have um, the countries that they have right now. You can, you can see they have a lot of co uh, countries right now. And they said to me that they're going to um, create a massive update in two weeks with a lot of new countries. And they said, for instance, that Brazil will be added on their updates. So um, let's see. I want to search the United States. So I'm going to search companies in the United States. Let's see. I want to find the public administration companies, okay? And defense and compulsory uh, social security. So I added the industry and that's what I want. If I need to find for instance, the company name, I want to find a specific company, I can add, I can add that feature, that the filter, but right now I want to search companies from the United States that are in the business of public administration. And I click here and start search. You are not spending credits for that, you never spend credits to search the companies. So they found in the United States, let's see, more than 20, oh, a lot of companies, more than 20, um, a lot of companies, thousands and thousands of companies. So I'm going to select all on that page. So 10 companies and I'm going to, no, I selected everything. Okay. Select everything on the page and I'm going to create a list to save that company. So I'm going to create public administration, okay? And list company, okay, create new list. Okay, cannot add more than 10,000, so I'm gonna unselect here. And let's see, I wanna, I wanna save those four first companies, okay? And I'm gonna add to a list that I already created education list to test the tool. So add to existing list, success. So I saved those companies on my list, my education list. So uh, when I click here, I'm gonna see all the companies that I save. And as I said, you don't spend credits to search and to put the companies on your list. But if you want to find all the information related to the company, let's see, let's say I want to, to outreach that company to Digital Doors LLC. So I, I need to unlock uh, the full profile of the company. And here I spend one credit. So let's see, let's say I want to unlock the full profile and I'm going to say yes. And Sales Rock will unlock that profile. And they will say like the technology, no technology available, no organization, but they have here phone number, address, number of employees to year of organization. So you get information about that company to do your outreach. And let's see, oh, I got that number, but I don't know if that number works. So you're going here on your sales toolkit another kind of credits that monthly as well, and phone verifier. And I'm gonna add the phone number um, here to verify the emails. When While you are verifying the emails, uh, you can use two integrations, the checker and verify B. So if you're gonna use um, verify B in the checker, you are not gonna spend uh, the credits of your toolkit monthly credits. So you are going to spend the Verify B or the Checker credits. So you can use Verify B API or the Checker API to use it to verify um, the emails of the people or company you find on Sales, sales Rack. Okay, you can see here the email is being processed, that mail is valid, correct, professional, um, etc. So, and like in the phone, I may be adding not the right code, so that's why they are um, 
um, like find um, valid format. Maybe I can do like this. I don't know. Anyway, I'm doing a, uh, um, I'm doing something wrong here that I'm getting valid format, but I'm gonna understand how to use it later. And you have, we have the tab to find um, contacts. So let's say I want to find in the United States, immigration lawyer, and I do not want industry. I want job title immigration lawyer in the United States. And the tool will search on their database and they find they found three immigration lawyers um, on their database. You can click here and add to your list. I'm gonna create lawyers. Lawyers list. Success, then you go to your list. Lawyers, click here. And you click here, and you're gonna unlock the profiles. Okay. View full profiles. Um, you can see uh, where he's working and also uh, his phone number. So let's see now the integrations. So you can integrate integrate with all those tools. You can see Google Sheets, MailChimp, Musen, Lemlist, Reply, MailShake, Outplay. So you can do your email outreach outside Sales Rocks. But also you can use a sequence here, okay, and create um, uh, your email outreach inside Sales Rock. Rocks. For that, you can connect with Outlook SMTP. So I think the previous apps module um, that is related to transactional emails, you can connect it here or Gmail. So I'm just like creating, trying to connect my Gmail account. Go to Sales Rock. So I'm going to allow, allow, allow. So I think now my email is connected, okay? With also my signature that I can uh, turn it on or turn it off. So, and you can save the signature if you want. Signature updated says successfully. So you go here, create sequence. Um, new sequence, I'm gonna create past. So it's account, the one I just created. Okay. Um, past, you're gonna select your a time zone and choose save scheduler great job text next um let's see our lawyers really, uh, lists or oh, you can add here the emails or upload to csv or google sheet so uh here uh you can see the email outreach Okay, so you drag and drop and you can add conditions and delay and then like snow view creates here as you can create your first email right here. If all then you're going like snow view to connect to a condition. Then I'm gonna see, I'm gonna wait for one day. 
um, one day after the contact, click it on the link on the email and I can save the condition. Okay. Or you can add a delay creating your workflow. I need to see later on how I connect those um, those blocks, but it's kind of oh, here I connected. Okay, so it's from below to up like that. So delay after your first email. I'm gonna wait three days, and then I'm going to do a follow up. Then you are going to do the follow up. Okay, so writing here the follow up. Right here, save. And here you have your sequence. And then you click here, start sequence, and it's done. And you can do your email outreach inside SalesRock with the uh, emails you found on company search or contact search. So uh, they are um, tool toolbox um, to do your um, profile search info search and then to validate it using the sales toolkit with the email verifier and phone verifier and then to create the sequence with the email to do your email outreach so that is sales rock i hope you like it bye bye